So here I have an Emu Vintage Keys. I just put a new power supply in it. And uh, I got to put a new battery in it, but I wanted to show you something. So here is the battery. This is actually the old one, but I'm going to replace it. This is a BR2330. So the 23 means 2.3 millimeters thick. The 30 means 30 millimeter diameter. That fits in a nice little plastic holder there. BR is an industrial battery. It provides a more stable discharge voltage than the uh, typical CR varieties. So if you're replacing it, put a BR in it. This is for, you know, powering the RAM and keeping your user presets in there, as well as, well, during normal operations, it does some stuff too. So let me show you what happens when you turn this on with no battery, which is the same as, you know, if your battery is completely dead. Okay, unit comes on. And what we got here is the preset names are all scrambled. So there's something wrong with the memory there. So we're going to shut it back down, put in the battery, and then go into uh, the diagnostics mode. I'll show you how to do that. And then reset the unit, reinitialize it to solve that problem. So right now, I'm going to turn it back on in diagnostic mode. Now, the way you do that is you hold down both cursor buttons at once while you're powering it on. Now, you can't just release it right away. Uh, you'll hear some clicking going on inside the unit as it's powering up. So you've got to give it a little chance. So here we go. All right, now the unit is powered up. Now the, the contrast display, it's kind of hard to read right. See, that's wrong, I can't get into it, so I'm gonna have to tilt this up. I think we'll be able to read it from the bottom. There we go, diagnostics auto cycle. Okay, that's not the one we want. We wanna go all the way to Setting 13, initialize. Okay. Now we selected it, we hit enter. It says destroy presets, enter equals okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, it's all done. Now there's a bunch of other diagnostics in here that you can perform. Audio return, channel test, Frequency response, that's a tone generator. Um, it, you, you know, doesn't help you much unless you have something to verify that the frequencies that it generates are proper. Uh, MIDI tests. Some of these require some setup. I don't really know what the setup is for all of them, but others you can just you know, hit enter, like we're testing right now. Okay, and now it's going into the memory bank testing. So the... The ROM bank testing takes a little while, not long, maybe a couple minutes. But in any case, um, that initialized trick will have completely fixed things. Okay, the testing passed, so now I'm going to shut it down. Start it back up. And all my happy preset names should have been reloaded. And you can see that they have been. There you go. So that's how to uh, reinitialize vintage keys. Um, same basic, same procedure on a, on a uh, Amorpheus as well. Uh, it's got the two cursor buttons that you hold down. On a regular Proteus, the Proteus one, it's different. You hold down the master and the edit buttons uh, while you're starting it up and it gets you into the diagnostics, but you can do the same thing.